failure, by definition, a lack of success. The definition of success, the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. According to these very guidelines, failing is to be marching toward an end point and for one reason or another, not getting there. Is failure a possibility? Of course it is. There are no definites in life. But failure is also self-induced. It is not an outside occurrence. It's not a coin flip or an event that we helplessly watch unfold before us. It's not up to chance. Failure is a decision. The decision to end that same march that you once started. Just like putting on your shoes is a decision. Just like traveling or running or eating, these are decisions that we make. And when the word is all too frequently brought up in everyday conversation, what's evident is that there is a fundamental misunderstanding of what it means to quote unquote, fail. It's spoken about as though it's something that's projected onto us, as though failure is an illness or catastrophic event, something that emerges and subdues its victims. And speaking of it in such a way misdiagnoses the problem. It's easy to say, so-and-so started a business and it failed. So-and-so didn't make the team, so they failed. But there's more here. One does not fail until they take a step back, look at the situation and say that it's no longer worth it anymore. You don't fail until the moment you raise the white flag and say, I cannot do this. Because if you're out there, if you're changing, adapting, stretching yourself and your abilities, if you're seeking help, mentors, learning, growing, embracing the struggle, being relentless in your effort, no one can bring that word into the conversation. It cannot exist. If you are moving forward, you are not failing. You cannot be working towards something and failing at the same time. It is impossible. You can have your ups and downs. No one will refute that. You can get knocked on your ass, have moments of fear and doubt, but that is growth, not failure. Growth is taking the uncomfortable and adapting to it overcoming the obstacles that inevitably get in your way. Failure, on the other hand, is deciding that growth is no longer worth the sweat. Because I'll tell you what, there's always a way to win, and I truly believe that. Sometimes the cost is extreme, sometimes the price is more than everyone around you is willing to pay, but that's a conversation that you need to have with yourself. Just know that if you want it, somewhere there exists a solution. And knowing that is the beginning of greatness. It is the start of success. And as for that question, what if I fail? Here's some insight. That thought is wasted time and it is wasted energy because as far as your goals go, you pull the strings. You are the writer, you are the director, and you are the actor. Failure only occurs when you write it into your script, when you choose it for an ending. And it is one ending, one of many. It is one approach of many. Once you've started that march towards what's important to you, do not let failure be the choice that you make. Choose growth. Choose the adventure, choose the long way home. Victory over defeat, the uphill climb over regret. Choose to move forward when most wouldn't. It's the decision you'll always be thankful you made.